Welcome back, X Squad. This is Minecorps X, and today I will be reviewing this brand new iPod case I got from ULAC, designed in Germany, made in China. Unfortunately, I got this for my iPod 5, my gaming unit. I got it in the blue so that it matches my iPod. Looks really cool. I got this a while ago. I want to review this. Yeah, in case you're wondering, this is my first non-toy review. And leave a like for the white background. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and rip this open. Looks like it's got a little nice tear here. Kind of just. Well, no, not really. Let me go get a pair of scissors really quick. The case comes in one of these really nice resealable packages, not that I will be using it, the package that is. No, what I'm expecting from this case, I know a lot of adults prefer to have iPhones for the cellular, so not a lot of them have iPods. That's where the kids come in, a lot of kids have iPods since they don't need cell cellular. So I expect this to be really durable, and it came with the stylus pen, best for its money value in my opinion. Anyway, we're pu pulling this all off, this is a three layer case. It's got a front layer, a back layer, and a middle layer. So, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in. It seems to be in good condition. I like the I like the color of it. That was really what I got it for. Well, of course, protection, but then there, there's color. So you stick the back on like that, and then you go ahead and stick the front on like that, and it clips on. It's got these little outlets on the sides for it to clip on. It seems to be pretty good condition. If I can just get this on, it's so hard with all the rubber. Stick that on. Stick that. Oh, okay. The top goes on first, and the bottom clips it all on. All right. My bad. And rather nicely. It's not. It's pretty good for its price compared to other major companies. So for ten bucks, this was def. Eh, I think it's worth it. Yeah. I'm not. I haven't seen it enough to tell yet. So yeah. Clip on the sides. There we go. Oop, there we go. Whoops, I don't know how I'll ever get this off. Alright, so there, everything's on. Uh, going through the features first, because those are what are most important. Uh, this, I don't see how you're going to fit your little wristband thing around there, so that was kind of a kill of a feature. Not that I use it, that's what the case is for to protect it. Then there's the camera, rather open, so that shouldn't be a problem. So I think it feels pretty nice. Yeah, I like the home button there. Yeah, leave a leg for my own screen. Uh, I don't really like how there's like, just look. Looking at this, there's a white lining. It doesn't look like they got the screen the right size. That's okay, not that big a deal. Oops. I didn't buy a waterproof case. I'm, looks like there's an extra, who knows how much of a centimeter for you to stick your headphone jack in. There's the charger output, and there's the microphone. So those aren't blocked, so that gives you good sound reception. That's good. And yeah, leave a like for my background. So let's go ahead and see how the cameras look. Let's see, I don't, I don't see my case anywhere. Alright, I'm not seeing my case. Everything looks to be pretty normal. That's good. Yeah, that wasn't blocked either. Alright, so everything seems to be working really well. This is looks to be a pretty light, nice case. I love the black along with my favorite color blue. Favorite color of blue. My favorite color actually isn't blue. And it was most for its money. It came with a stylus pen, which I really need one of these for when I'm editing and stuff. So I was really happy with that. Then, of course, there's a screen protector, which my last one I used it, like, over, it overlived itself. Then there's, of course, the installation card to put that in. And there's a little cloth to wipe it. So this is definitely uh, worth its money for the 10 bucks on Amazon. That's where I got this. It's probably only where it's available that and of course, it's company. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think it matches the color. This black matches the screen of the black, and the blue of the iPod matches the case. I think it was definitely worth its money. Let me know what you think of this, and for any questions, just leave a comment. I will get back to you. I will even... I'll, I did some research on this. It only fits iPod 5 and 6, not for iPhone 5. That was the specific. Just want to point that out. Yeah, so I think it looks really good. Any other questions, let me know, and I'll get back to you. A rather easy process for installation. Easy as that. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this thing because I found it quite a tussle myself. First, you're just going to get your iPod and stick it in the plastic layer. I do it from top and then slip over the corners of the bottom. It's made to be flexible. That's the good part because it is pretty hard to get in here. Alright, so after that, just flap on all the sides. Next, you're going to put it right on, it aligns with these two brackets. Just right on the bottom. Now, a lot of these parts are came, uh, came brand new from the factory, but they have to be kind of toned to the iPod, so you'll see some indentations. Nothing to worry about. This is made of, like, silicone plastic, so it's easy to bend. So if you think you're breaking it, you're probably actually not. So, the front is going to interlock right there. I'm going to go ahead and... Go interlock as will both these sides. You have to press it just a little bit there and snap it right there. 
Same thing for the other side, you have to kind of push it and pull it just a little bit, just the slightest tussle. Then just go ahead and snap all the sides. There you go, and there it is. All right, and how to get this off, because you're eventually going to get this off, right? A little bit harder. You're going to actually use these two side panel indentations to undo the top, I mean, bottom, and top, top locks. Let me just see if I can get this. It's a bit of a tussle. Oh, yeah, and then you're going to bend the back back. Just careful not to do it too far, because you don't want to test your limitations. All right, and then I just try to get my thumb in there and help it out a bit. Yeah, these don't really help with the uninstallation, unfortunately. But that's okay, there. And just pull these back, and that will undo the side. You're just gonna kinda fidget this, fidget them both out of each other like that. That's my way of doing it. That just leads with the very simple rubber casing, which you just, you just pull off. Nothing, no resistance there. <laughs> This does come with a screen protector. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it since I will be doing it anyway. Now first you're going to want to freshly clean your iPod screen because you want to be as clean as possible. Nothing can get under that screen protector or it will be there for the rest of the time. So you're going to, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the bag I got it in and pull up there. So this thing has, oops, yeah. This thing has two layers. One you take off first, one you take off second because one of them is sticky. Step one, please peel off this mask for application. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just go gonna go ahead and peel it off. This is a very strict screen protector because there is a very, very small hole. You can't even see it very well for the camera. So I'm gonna be really perfect with this. Alright. Step two, please peel this off. Oh. Alright, pull this off after <sighs> masking is complete. So I have to stick this on right now. Alright, using the camera to guide me as I go, I'm going to very, very, very precisely install the screen protector. You can see that little hole? That is going to go right over the camera, and it can't be blocking it, because that just defeats the whole purpose of the camera, doesn't it? Alright, there we go. Alright, now we remove the layer. It, what? Oh, okay. Oh, very carefully remove the yeah, all right there not remove the whole remove the second layer put that aside or right next to the first layer and then you use this little installation card you just I don't really find it a help but you just nope you just push you just push out all the air bubbles I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my hands there I just find it easier with my hands but yeah it's, it's for the option. There we go. It's a bit of a tussle to get all these bubbles out. Bit of a challenge, actually, but it, it, it happens. And once it does, it, it lasts for a long time. There we go. Alrighty, so that's how you install a screen protector. Yep, look, works really well. This is the best stylus pen I've ever used. Works really well. I'm happy with this. So yeah, I think this will definitely protect my iPod. This is the best stylus pen I've ever had. Works really well. It's got an extra screen protector. Definitely something I could use. I think it was definitely worth it. Let me know what you guys think of this. And I'll leave a link to this to buy in the description of the video if you want it for yourselves. It's available in a variety of different colors for your preference. I will see you all next time. This is Minecorps X, over and out.